Well, yo, ho, ho. what up guys and welcome back to another one and today we're doing something that y'all have requested a ton and what that is is some patterning videos. I, I did a patterning video at the beginning of the season. You guys really liked it and, and uh, I think it was like the last two videos I've been like, hey guys, you need to let me know down in the comments what you guys miss or what you guys want me to do, what you want to see for videos here on the channel and patterning videos has been a huge request on multiple videos so that's what we're gonna do today so the last patterning video we did was all about the full choke versus the modified choke and I was using I think seven shot seven and a half shot uh, skeet loads well today we're using number two shot steel loads all waterfowl loads today we're gonna be using Fiaci Federal and then the almighty Walmart special Winchester Super X. The reason why I picked these three to kind of put up against each other, for one, because Fiaci ammo, I've really always liked. They sent me some free stuff the last two years, so I've really been enjoying it. And then Federal just uh, sent some ammo for me to try out, and it's their blue box, so I'm really excited about that. And then Winchester, like I said, it's just the Walmart brand. It's like what everybody goes to Walmart and is able to pick up right off the shelf and it doesn't bust the bank. So the reason why I'm vlogging so much here in the truck is because it's super windy out today. And the minute I step out of this truck, you're gonna hear every bit of the wind. So let's run through just kind of what we're gonna do today. I think we're gonna step off 25 to 30 yards. I don't wanna do 20 yards. I'd like to just keep it around the 25 to 30. So, you know, reason being is those are realistic shots everyday realistic shots but i'm pr i think i'm gonna keep my full choke in for one reason is i've been using my full choke for a long time and i really do want to see how my full choke patterns so number two shot a carlson cremator full which they call their extended range cremator on my Franke affinity so I'm really excited to uh, see the results of what we're about to do. Each paper that I shoot, I'm going to mark it, I'm going to label it, and then we'll be able to take it back to the shop, lay them out on the floor, and we'll see actually which ones are better than the others. So, we're headed to the field. Be expecting a little bit of wind, hopefully not too much. Let's go. Well, we are here, and uh, this is where I did the last patterning test at, and it's my buddy Wade's. Y'all have seen him on a bunch of videos. He has a pond back here, and it's not so pondish yet. It has a little bit of water down there, but it's a perfect uh, area to kind of get out of the wind, back the truck up, and sit the old camera on the tailgate. But, like I said, we have my Franke Affinity today, and we are going to be starting out with the Super X. It's like the Walmart Special, like I said. All of us have shot this at one point, or still do shoot it. I don't mind it whatsoever, to be honest. And then we're going to move to the Fiaci. It's always been my go-to for the last two years. It's primarily what I've shot for the last two years. And then we're going to go to what I'm excited about most is the Federal Blue Box. This is their Speed Shock. And uh, this is a 8.1. <clears throat> this is a 1 8 ounce load. This is The Fiaci is a 1 and 1 fifth. And the Winchester is ounce and a quarter. So... We're going to put them up against each other at 20, 25 yards-ish. I'm going to step it out. And like I said, Carlson Cremator Full Choke, Franke Affinity. Let's get to it. Well, we got to make a backboard. That's what I did last time. Just use T-posts. Got her done here, check it out. This is what I got going on. So like I said, we're gonna start out with the Winchester first. So down here, I went ahead and wrote Winchester, number two full choke, 20 yards. And that's what this is. It's about a 20 yard shot. I've always patterned my shotguns at 20 to 25 yards and that's exactly what this is. So let's uh, start shooting something, shall we? So cracked open a brand new box. Like I said, we're starting out with the Winchester Super X. One shell in, 20 yard shot, boys. Wow. 
Wow, that is loud back here. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. That's, uh, we're surrounded by a lot of trees. That was loud, and I mean real loud. But here we are, man, that looks pretty darn good. Wow, I mean really good, 20 yarder. That is, it's about eight inches, so you're looking at a 12 inch group. But a foot group, that ain't bad. So we're gonna take this off, we're gonna put it in the bed of the truck. Like I said, when we go back to the shop, we're gonna compare them all, really look at them pretty hard, and that's where we're gonna find out what do we like better, what works better, and you always gotta understand that choke and shell combination is a thing. So, we're gonna see what works best with what I got. Well, here's the next deal. I got it written down, Fiacci number two, and we're gonna give her a quick little boink. That's all she needs right there. A Little bit of spray paint. Back of the truck topper, the old grandpa topper. Oh yeah, coming in clutch again, getting us out of the wind. All right, that pattern was actually really, really nice. I uh, cannot lie about that. So we got the next target set up. We have moved on to the Fiacci number two shot. Here we go. Let's see how she does. Woo that Fiacci, that ounce and a fifth. Yeah, that's what it is. Ounce and a fifth. Woo! I know that's I've always loved them Fiacci's. Well, what do we got here? I knew I aimed a little lower, but the grouping, let's see. I mean, it's almost exactly like the Super X. I mean, you're looking at a foot, right at a foot, maybe a hair more, not really. Very close comparison. But like I said before, we're gonna take it off and we're gonna take it back to the shop so we can compare them a lot better than out here in the field because there's no way out here in this field. Look at that, the wind, yeah. All right, new target up. Now moving forward to the federal loads. These are ounce and an eighth, still with the two shot. And why I'm doing two shot, guys, is uh, because that is what I prefer for ducks, geese, everything. It goes to federal. Ounce and an eighth load. Number two. 20 yards. Boom! God, I love that every time. Those Federals, that's the first time shooting them. And that was a hammer. That was uh, every bit of the same as that Fiacci load. That Fiacci, they're dangerous, but woo! Let's go check it out. If you guys are liking the patterning videos, and if you want to see more of them, what you need to do is drop me a big old thumbs up right now and drop a comment down below. When you guys drop positive vibes, positive comments, comments that you even tell me what you do and don't like, I always enjoy reading them. So, if you guys have an idea for a patterning video, you need to drop it in the comments right now. This is going to be a hair larger, yeah, definitely a hair larger than the last two loads. So the pattern is a little bigger, not as tight, which is a good and bad thing. I don't know, kind of whatever you prefer. I've never been a big uh guy in one shell or another seems like they are they're all so close as you can see it's like why be so picky but that federal hit like a hammer and man this is good spacing in between them i'm gonna use my thumb for reference here gives you an idea so that's about i don't know it's gonna be about a 14 inch range there oh yeah about a 14 incher so what i decided to do i'm like gosh just having three shots and three different patterns, that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep on the full choke. I'm going to step out another 10 yards. So we're going to be doing a 30-yard shot, a for sure 30-yard shot. It's downhill just a little bit, uh, not too much wind back here. So the wind's really not affecting the shot much. It's just affecting the audio. All right, so this is the Winchester number two 30-yard shot. Man, I love three inch shells. Now, a lot of you guys have always been like, Bob, you need a three and a half inch gun. Well, guys, I don't shoot honkers a lot. And, and my theory is, down here in Kansas, we shoot a lot of ducks and we shot a, a lot of lessers and cacklers and snow geese. All those three species are, are pretty easy to down with a three inch shell, especially if you have 30 yard shots. So there we go, there's the first one. This is a Winchester, so you're definitely looking at a one, 
that's two footish. That's two footish, about 20 inches probably. Yeah, there's the top BB there, and there is the bottom right there. So an inch off the paper, about two inches off the paper. Definitely probably a two foot pattern at 30 yards. And yeah, so here's a BB here, and then we have BBs that hit almost right on the edge. So definitely a two foot pattern. I'm gonna run through the next two, uh, we're gonna go through Federal, we're gonna go through Fiachi and get this done here. Cause I'm really interested in putting these all side by side. And I do wanna give a, a shout out to Federal and Fiachi. Uh, they've been hooking me up here with ammunition and uh, Fiachi, I've been shooting it for over two years and Federal just kinda jumped on board and they're like, hey, we're gonna send you some ammo. You wanna try it out? And I'm like, heck yeah. And they sent me quite a bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to Federal. That was very, very kind of you. But what I like about these patterning videos is they don't lie. So, two more shots, then we're done. All right, this is gonna be the Fiachi 30 yards full choke. Man, 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 them are hammers. I say it every time. Well, here's the Fiachi and we have some pellets. I think it went here, right here on the edge. Got some on the edge, but man, there is a good amount that stayed within that, uh, I don't know, the center, about 10 inch center there. That actually looks really good. I aimed a little low, as you can tell, but there's a lot of pellets in the center there. That actually looks really, really darn good. So, that's the Fiachi. We're gonna uh, give a big old send on the Federals, and then that's gonna wrap it up. And we're gonna get out of this wind, my goodness. It's pretty chilly though. It's uh, right at 43 degrees, but man, it's a lot of south wind and it's cold. But we're almost done here. One more shot and we are out of here. All right, the Federals, number two's final shot. 30 yarder. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. Boy, howdy, I have to say those Federals, out of all three shells, those Federals, definitely feel like they hit the hardest i mean they really feel like they have a lot behind them and yet again just like the 20 yarder same thing look at this the pattern on the federal is larger but man it's a nice pattern it just really consumes that whole piece of paper this is federal blue box at 30 yards and it really does have a nice dense pattern right here look i mean look how many shots are right here i mean quite a bit not a bad looking deal. Much larger pattern, but they are centrally located pretty good. I'm gonna tear my rig down here. We're gonna get back to the shop, put them down on the floor so we can really look at these three because this is pretty darn interesting. I'm pretty excited to see the results here. Well, we are back in the shop like I promised and check it out, we got all the patterns laid out. And we're gonna start with the 20 yard shot. So, what we got going on here? Let's check it out. So this is the Federal number two blue box, 20 yards. Here she is. As you can tell, decent size, right? Now look at the difference here. This is the Fiachi 20 yards. A lot tighter, I mean honestly. Um, I'm not saying a lot like there's a huge difference, but I would say uh, that is tighter. Now we go to the Winchester and check that out. I mean, it is, you can tell where I was aiming, you know what I mean? So, you know, it was just a hair low at this point. It was windy, mind you, uh, but we were shooting with the wind. So if that makes any sense, it was windy, but we were shooting with the wind, directly with the wind. My theory here is, so, full choke 20 yards, you better be a one heck of a shot, you know, because that pattern is going to be small either way. That is not a very big pattern. So, full chokes, I like running them. I've gotten used to my full choke. But man, that Winchester, let me tell you what, that is, that's tight. That's un well under a foot. Let's get a tape. Here is the Winchester, and we're going to go from edge to edge. That is 16 inches. And then about 14 inches. 16 by 14. And I'm going from the farthest pellet. 
but the dense portion is really right at eight inches on that dense portion. The Fiacci, we're gonna go all the way across. It's a hair more, you're looking at about 16 and a half inches by, ooh, it's a lot taller, uh, 20 inches tall. And that dense portion, you're looking nine to 10 inches on that denser-ish portion. Now when we go to the Federal, you're looking at easily 20 inches wide by yeah, 25 inches tall. And that dense portion is going to be right around 12 inches. So it does seem, what, what, what we're getting here, the Federal does pattern a little bigger. But let me tell you what, they bang. and They bang hard. That by far, that Federal kicks the hardest. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just there's a lot of power behind that shot. Same with the Fiacci. Uh, just had a bang. And that, um, that Winchester is kind of the lighter load of the three, even though the uh, Federal is an ounce and an eighth. It was kind of the, the lightest kick as far as load goes. And I believe that. And it just seems that maybe that lighter load, not being so hot, uh, does produce a better pattern. That might be a theory, especially when you're running a full choke. Uh, on the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a modified. And we're going to see how these same number twos act with a modified. If you want to see that video, drop a comment down below and say, Yeah, Bobby, do the video. And I will get that done because this is interesting. Um, really interesting. Alrighty, final deal here. Here is the 30 yarders. And check it out. So this one here is the Federal number two full choke at 30 yards. Top to bottom, 27 inches, pretty much the entire paper. And then side to side, it, I mean the pattern pretty much took up this 22 by 28. Yeah, 28. Pretty well. As you can tell, uh, there's not a whole lot of dead spots. We do have a really good center pattern there. There's a lot of pellets in that center. And then they're pretty, they're pretty even. Seems like there's a little, a hair more pellets down near the bottom of the pattern for sure. So, Federal, still big. Still looking big, but consistent. I like the consistency out of that. I really do. Now, here is the Fiacci at 30 yards, and I must have been aiming a hair low because we really don't have any pellets right here. We have a few stragglers here, here, where they start, and then right here is really the dense portion. So I must have been aiming a hair low, or the wind kind of messed it up. But I will say that, man, they're really packed right in here, and then they're packed here, packed here. There's some, there's some kind of dead zones there. Uh, I wish I would have been aiming a little higher. But um, they're kind of bunched up in little groups everywhere. I don't know if I like that as much as the Federal or not. And moving on to the Winchester, here again, stay, same story as the 20 yarder. Check this out. Lighter load and 22 inches by basically 22 inches. A lot denser, a lot a lot smaller pattern to be really honest with you. Not sure if it's because it's a lighter, lighter load or what. But it does look like the pattern was heavy on the left side. A lot more packing on the left side. Uh, got some dead spots, but not bad. It, it's, it's definitely tighter than the two. I don't know. I guess you got to look. Do you want a good pattern at 30 yards or do you want just brrr, all the force coming at it? And then have it a little bigger because that's what we're seeing and I'm not an expert of shotgun shells I don't claim to be it's just my theory so if you guys have any comments about this video or if I didn't do it right or if it wasn't entertaining let me know down below I guess but I think it was I take one last look this is the Winchester at 30 this is the Fiacci at 30 and here is the Federal at 30 I've never been the one to get really picky about patterns, but I will say doing it today, um, it's, it's very interesting to see. So, I'm going to let you guys really decide which one you guys think pattern the best and which one you guys prefer uh, from past hunting. Like, what do you guys like? What's your guys' go-to shotgun shell? Let me know down below. I'd really like to know. Plus, guys, you got to let me know down below which one you thought performed the best.
You got to do that. I know there's a lot of interaction. I'm asking for a lot. I'm asking you to comment down below and just let me know which one you guys think performed the best today. My honest theory is that the patterning, as far as, you know, anybody running a full choke wants a tight pattern, obviously. That Winchester obviously patterned the tightest, but for just a hammer of a shell, that Federal was hot. Um, and that might be why the pattern resulted in just being more widespread. Um, so, you gotta let me know your thoughts and theories and what you guys think about this down below. I really enjoy the community that we've built here on the channel. And without you guys' interaction, why would I be doing this? So, thank you for being here, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, give your boy a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do so now. And all my old-time subscribers, new subscribers, I don't care who you is, turn on that notification bell right down there somewhere. Wherever it is, hit it. Turn it on. It'll tell you when I upload, so you don't miss any of these how-tos, these foul Fridays, these patterning videos, or any of the epic hunts that we do, or even the boring hunts that we do. You won't miss one. But again, thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.